Hello everyone! If you by any chance run into Anatoly Karpov today, feel free to stop him and congratulate him, or rather wish him a, a happy birthday as today is his birthday, that's why I put a Karpov over here, uh, I thought it would be a nice touch for, uh, for today's video. I was planning to do it in my previous video, but uh, you know, I, I forgot. Uh, but uh, here we have another another game from round 11 of the 2013 candidates tournament. Uh, it's Alexander Grishuk versus Magnus Carlsen. So uh, before we check out some photos from this round, we do uh, we do have the standings at round 10. So Carlsen is in first place with seven points, uh, and the Grishuk uh, four and a half points. So a win for Grishuk here with the white pieces would uh, bring him over to five and a half, and could maybe still uh, maybe he could still join the ra uh, race for first place in this tournament but you know it, it's a long shot uh, but either way you're playing against Magnus Carlsen the highest rated player in the world you want to win this game definitely uh, so as usual let's check out some photos and we do have quite a lot of photos uh, from this round uh, here we have a nice uh, close-up of Carlsen he's uh, ready to sit down for his game uh, here we have uh, also a nice close-up of Carlsen and uh, a blurry, blurry Grishchuk on the left uh, here we have uh, also a nice close-up of Alexander Grishuk uh, pretending like he's uh, he's not really sure what he's going to play in today's game but uh, I mean uh, who is who is he kidding uh, here we have uh, this is a uh, maybe one of my favorite photos from this round here you can see Grishuk and Carlson uh, avoiding eye contact and uh, you might think I'm joking but not really uh, some people actually do this they will sit down in front of their opponent and they will avoid eye contact because uh, uh, until the game uh, uh, ends, uh, you know, the person sitting uh, across you is uh, uh, on the other side of the board is your sworn enemy and there's no reason uh, to exchange any pleasantries. So once again, avoiding eye contact and uh, here we have uh, a nice photo of Grishu. He just played his first move, D4, uh, feels very happy about himself, but he still didn't hit the clock. So quite, <clears throat> quite an interesting move. And uh, here... Uh, we have Carlsen in the upper left corner, you can <clears throat> you can check him out, and uh, as usual there is Grishuk uh, taking a stroll, checking out some of the other games, here he's checking out the game between Swidler and Aronian, it's a game actually from our previous video, and uh, here we have uh, actually uh, a nice photo of Magnus Carlsen, and uh, you know, if, if you don't have a trained eye, you might miss that a wild gale fund actually appeared on the right. So those of you who are maybe big fans of Magnus Carlsen might totally miss uh, a gate fund lurking in the shadows there. So those are the photos from this round. Now let's check out the game. Uh, we have d4, knight to f6, c4, uh, and g6. And it seems that, uh, you know, you praise me uh, about not, <laughs> not messing up the sound that I forgot to do at this game. Uh, but, you know, I I'm improving. So c4, g6, the king's Indian defense, knight to c3, and d5, so the Grunfeld defense. Uh, knight to f3, uh, bishop to g7, and now the immediate h4. So uh, v very nicely done by Grishuk. So how do you counter this? Uh, Carlsen goes for c6, we have bishop to g5, uh, Carlsen castles, and now bishop captures on f6, removing the defender of the h5 square. Bishop captures and now h5. So how do you do this? Of course, Grishuk is uh, very aggressive uh, from the start. He wants to open up this h file, uh, you use the rook over there, uh, but uh, he he will not be able to castle kingside, and it's questionable if he will be able to castle queenside. So he's definitely uh, he definitely prepared something. Uh, we'll just have to see what it is. Uh, bishop to f5. So uh, if Grishuk decides to capture this, then the two bishops will create a very nice wall here uh, and will, <coughs> uh, will guard the black king very nicely. Uh, so after bishop to f5, we have e3, e6, and now he does capture. h captures on g6, bishop captures on g6, and uh, we have bishop to d3. Uh, Grishuk offers uh, the exchange of the light square bishops. Uh, knight to d7. Uh, we have queen to e2. Uh, e5 now, uh, Carlsen here is threatening e4 uh, to win a piece, so we have bishop captures on g6. h captures on g6 and now d captures on e5. Knight captures on e5, c captures on d5, c captures on d5 and now rook to d1. Uh, and Carlsen goes queen to a5, now pinning this knight. And uh, since uh, we already said that uh, you're not really castling kingside here, uh, you can't castle queenside anymore, <clears throat> so what do you do here? You, do, you de definitely don't want to leave your king on e1, uh, so th the knight will stay pinned. Uh, 
of course you all know the move now uh, here uh, Grishuk played king to f1 uh, the king is relatively safe uh, on f1 there is no light square bishop for black that could pose any any problems and uh, now it's it's only a question if uh, if Grishuk can somehow bring his queen over here and maybe maybe pose some problems for Carlsen uh, so rook a to d8 uh, knight to d4 here Grishuk missed an interesting idea that is b4 uh, simply uh, getting rid of the the queen's defense uh, of, the, of the d5 pawn uh, after we move the queen or or if queen captures on b4 uh, then knight captures on d5 with an attack on the queen and on the bishop that is undefended on f6 uh, queen to d6 you have to guard the bishop and now e4 uh, the queen is no longer threatening any queenside ideas and now this knight has a, has a wonderful outpost uh, on d5 and uh, after these knights get exchanged there's really no way to get rid of this knight from d5 so it would be a very powerful position for Grishuk uh, but okay rook a to d8 we have knight to d4 uh, queen to c5 uh, knight to b3 here Grishuk attacks Carlsen's queen on c5 uh, queen to c6 we have knight to a5 now again attacking the queen and the b7 pawn and here queen to c7 uh, we have knight back to b3 by Grishuk uh, queen to c6 and again uh, here Grishuk repeats the position uh, knight to a5 uh, we have queen to c7 and again uh, for the third time Grishuk repeats the position uh, knight to b3 and it's Carlsen's move if he repeats the position uh, it's a draw by th a threefold repetition uh, but what's the idea why does Grishuk repeat the position with knight to b3 uh, why doesn't he play rook captures on d5 it seems like a very juicy pawn it's a I mean it's a nice central free pawn why, why not capture it uh, well, the reason is after rook captures, uh, you get rook captures, knight captures, and now queen captures on a5, of course. Uh, the bishop is undefended, so knight captures on f6 with check. Uh, king to g7 attacking the knight, and now comes knight to g4. And after knight captures, queen captures. Uh, black is down a pawn, but after rook to d8, there's really no way for white to, to actually do anything here. Uh, bl black is actually even better here. Uh, since the, wh the white king is very awkwardly placed on f1 the queen ca can't really make any threats here uh, since if the queen ever uh, loses the the uh, eye on the d1 square then rook to d1 will be a terrible threat so here you want to play something like g3 and first you have to waste a couple of moves to improve the position of your own king uh, but then white uh, black will also improve his position and black will even ha have time to grab a pawn or two so not something uh, you want to look forward to as a white so after this uh, queen to c7 move Grishuk repeated knight to b3 and uh, to everyone's uh, you know amazement or maybe uh, for the lack of a better word uh, Carlsen repeated for the third time queen to c6 and uh, on move uh, 23 uh, the players kind of agreed to, to a draw by threefold repetition so as the title suggests, uh, Kaisa was not very happy with this game and uh, the consequences will be great as you'll see in the next round. Uh, but yeah, uh, Carlsen really couldn't couldn't go for anything here after this knight to b3 move. There's, there's really no plan Car Carlsen can uh, hope for here. <clears throat> even, even though the commentator said that maybe there was a way uh, for black to actually do something here since uh, Grishuk's rooks aren't connected, the king is very awkwardly placed on f1. Uh, but uh, the engine agrees with Carlsen, uh, queen to c6 is the strongest move, Carlsen plays it and uh, he agrees to a, to a draw. So yeah, uh, that's uh, one of the games. Uh, I, I was, uh, you know, I had to think really hard, do I actually want to show this game, do I not want to show this game, but uh, in the end, uh, for uh, a certain reason I decided to show it as, uh, well, uh, I'm sure you all know what the reason is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, maybe you didn't enjoy the game so much, but I hope you enjoyed the photos <laughs> as uh, the, you know, that's all part part of the game. So we will see one more game from uh, round 11 and then we're going to talk about uh, the standings and, and a little bit about uh, this this round and the tournament so far in general and the only game uh, we will not see from this round is uh, actually Ivanchuk versus Gatefan because that was the shortest game of the tournament. Uh, it, it was a total uh, draw, you know, it's like uh, you open up a book and then 
they you know you, you check out some openings and they say uh here you can use this opening and then it's a draw and it's basically that's the game i, I will even put a link to this game in the description below if you just want to check it out uh but uh, you know we will definitely have some photos of ivanchuk and gelfand so yeah uh, that's the game uh, i do hope you enjoyed it and uh, i would like to thank uh, uh jan mckinney uh, uh jan mc sorry mckinney yeah my bad, <laughs> Jan McKinney, for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, uh, and I will see you soon uh, with one more game from round 11 of the 2013 Candidates Tournament. Uh, thank you all.